Hi, good afternoon and welcome to today's video. And today's video we're out on the MT10 and the Triumph 675 Street Triple. I'm Richard. I'm Carol. Yeah, and uh, today we're on a little jaunt. We're out to find the cove at Stony Stanton. Not been there in ages, have we? And the pubs oh, reopened oh. after after the COVID regs and uh, thought we'd have a little trip out. And we thought we'd also have a little experiment today. That both of us are gone wireless, haven't we? Mm. You normally have a voice recorder, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is better if it works well because it's got no wires and stuff, so yeah, it's tidier. And, and if you can see... Wrong side. That side, <laughs> isn't it? That side. <laughs> Yeah, we've both got the Rode voice, uh, well, Rode microphones on. And we did a little test, or I did a little test the other day, just using the Rode microphone with its own internal microphone tucked away inside the chin piece. But I wasn't completely happy with the amount of wind noise we were getting, so I've reverted back to my normal microphone, and Carol's got exactly the same microphone tucked away in there. Mm -hmm. And that comes out to the back of the uh, the road uh, road microphone, which then goes back to the transmitter next to the Insta uh, 360 One X2. So, see, the thing we really don't know is uh, what sort of range we're going to have before uh, Carol drops away, because I've obviously got the. Uh, the receiver mounted on the camera on my bike, so you'll always get me, but you may not get Carol. Hang on. You ready? No, not yet. She pulls away anyway. <laughs> I thought you said yes. No, I didn't. I said no. <laughs> she said Come on. yes. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I said, are you ready? You said yes. I, I tell you. I, we have recordings to back that up. We'll see who's right. Ooh, where do we go here? Don't know. Are you sure this is a road? No. Ooh. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Hmm. It's on the uh, it's on the sat nav. This road is. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's coming up okay, as if it's somewhere to go. But I don't know. It just seems a bit like not a proper road, but it's paved. I mean, it's got tarmac on it, so hmm. better than some roads we've been down. So we need, as far as I can remember, to head towards Earl Shilton, which is near Mallory Park. And we know we're near Mallory, don't we? Because we could hear it when we stood in that gateway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could, yeah. There's definitely bike racing happening at Mallory today. Is it good to be out today, Carol? Hmm, it's a nice, beautiful day. It is, isn't it? If anybody uh, watching on the video is wondering how we're talking live, we're, uh, we're using our uh, Cardo Pack Talk bolds, aren't we? So we, we've effectively got two microphones in the chin piece, one for the uh, Cardo and one for the camera. Oh yeah, this was our uh, destination, but the trouble is the uh, huh, cafe looked busy, but the cafe said it Fair, closed. It shut at four. Four thirty, yeah. I mean, it's uh, quarter to five now. Mouse. Sorry? There's a mouse around across the road. Mouse? <laughs> yeah. I saw a rat when I was out the other day. Mm -hmm. Rather see a mouse. It's got with the canal going under here, hasn't it? Mm. Whoop. Yep. It's the Ashby Canal. speed that we're doing now. We're doing about 50 now, aren't we? Yeah. So, uh, it'll be interesting to hear the playback back and uh, see what the quality's like. I'm hoping it's marginally better than uh, when I just had the 
road fits into the chimpy because we are considering using this as a as a full-time camera and uh, not using the hero uh, seven because i'm not sure i uh, trusted after it let us down last time mm. yeah it's annoying if you filmed and you think you've got something good and then nothing yeah it was interesting watching Dave on Weirdly Good TV, wasn't it, on his video? Oh, he's had a nightmare with his uh, GoPro. Yeah. Is it a nine he's got? Yeah, because if you've not uh, not watched Weirdly Good TV, uh, it's not Really Good TV, it's a channel called Really Good TV, but it is quite good. And uh, it's run by an Irish guy, I think it's Dave. Is it Dave? He I might don't be know. Dave. Anyway, yeah. Uh, he, in his day job, is a professional cameraman for the uh, for the network out there, and uh, he knows what he's talking about with cameras. And in his professional role, he'd been using two Hero 9s, hadn't he? And they'd both let him down. And uh, he says it's embarrassing, especially when you've got to go back to a client or you've yeah. borrowed a motorbike to do a to do a road test. And you've got no you've got no audio and it, 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 it's wiped and or well, it's not it wasn't the audio was it he he lost the actually lost the whole lost. file yeah complete loss yeah and uh, you could tell he was angry about it couldn't you yeah. and you would be when you've put a lot of effort into filming something and the just, equipment the equipment yeah. lets you down and just this is where we that the latest gopros aren't as reliable as the older ones so I know Dave's work, working on a, uh, something similar to, to using the road microphones like we're using. So, but I'm, I'm interested to get his professional opinion because we're just total amateurs, aren't we? We're just playing at this really. Trying to see what works with the kit you can get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just like re to record some of our little tours and holidays. We're not going to do it all. We just do it for fun. We're out. We're not out to make any money. We just want to to do the best video we can can make technically. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Oh, yeah. I heard it coming through you. I, I heard him coming. <laughs> it's a chuffing loud one. I can't even hear my own bike. Can't. I couldn't hear my bike at all. You're in a 40, lad, you know, it's just... <laughs> there's going fast, there's places to go faster, isn't there? That's a bit spooky. Oh, that's scary. Mm. There's, a, there's children in pot stuck to the tarmac. You don't find that? It's creepy. It's a bit creepy, yeah. I've never seen that before. No. Yeah, down the bottom here we want to go right, I think. Whoops, the rosers. Not to run to the back of the policeman. Yeah, well don't back out, mate. I should go around it, Carol. Tough. <laughs> what is it about dogs? It would have come straight out at you then. <laughs> she hadn't got it, got it by its neck. It's a left. This is where we're going. Nemo's Bar and Restaurant at Stony Cove. Now, what's Stony Cove famous for, Carol? Diving. Yeah. It's one of the deepest inland dive centres in the country. And uh, there'll probably be a load of people wandering around with oxygen tanks. <laughs> Usually it is. Welcome to the UK's biggest dive store. We are pretty much in the middle of the Midlands yeah. here, aren't we? I don't know what those guys are doing, stood there. We've got bouncers on the door. 
to pull in near the railing so I can show everybody. Well guys, look at that spot, eh? That's quite nice, isn't it? Mm, very nice. Sun glinting on the lake, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it says no swimming, but it's a diving centre. That's what mm. people do here, isn't it? Can't see anybody diving. It looks like a few people have been. Mm. Must be the end of the day. But this is a former quarry and it went down a long, long way. There's all sorts of stuff sunk down there for the divers to go and uh, discover. Yes, yeah, there's planes and all sorts down there. I think there? there's a lot of stuff, yeah. Mm. There's also a decompression tank because you can, get the bend. Over there. Mm. You, can, you can get the bends here. So, uh, anyway. That's the end of our little test coming here, isn't it? We're going mm -hmm. to try the GoPro 7 on the way back. And this time we've got our Rode Wireless Go here, the base station connected into the audio adapter of the Hero 7 back there. I'm going to stick this, if I can, on the front of Carol's bike. Hmm. Not used to uh, being in charge of the cameras. Left ear. Building like a, uh, a little century box there. A building a what? Just looked like a century box, like a for a soldier to stand in. <laughs> that was really nice. Yeah, nice. We just had a couple of, of uh, non-alcoholic drinks, didn't we? Gorgeous. So Sat long there since in the we've sun. Been there, yeah. We used to go there quite a bit, didn't we? But we did, yeah. yeah. Feels like a mini holiday, doesn't it, when you can sit by yeah. Uh, waterfront. Mm. It did kind of feel like you were at the seaside there when you were sat next you to the do, water yeah. there. We're pretty much smack bang in between two good racetracks, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Although uh, Mallory Park doesn't get any uh, big feature races now, does it? No, it's only a small concern compared to Dono, isn't it really? Yeah. It doesn't help that uh, all the newbie house buyers complain about the noise eh? <laughs> Some nasty curves up here, there's plenty of bikes gone astray around these corners. Tractor. Yeah, you don't want to run into that, there's blades spinning. Small cut grass. Smells nice, doesn't it? <laughs> You'll make it to uh, Mishamore out for your fuel. <laughs> yeah, I'm only on uh, 70 <laughs> miles. I like it when it's this empty, you know. I have to come it's out this time of the evening it? more often. Yeah, I think we said that last time we came out in the evening, didn't we? Ah, oh, it's much better Way time better. to ride. That shop there is where uh, 
there was a uh, Yam dealership and that's where I bought my uh, RD 250LC from back in 81. Anyway, we're stopping in the MT-10's normal resting <laughs> position in a filling station and uh, we're going to go back home and see what results we've got. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with us today, trying out these new things and hopefully the next few videos you'll see will be us away on tour. Thanks a lot and see you again.